What's good guys, I hope it's all good. My last video I talked a bit about Microsoft and HoloLens giving off my opinions, but I didn't really explain what is HoloLens. So let's get straight to it, what is HoloLens, forget about the intro. Okay, so I guess I lied about the intro. HoloLens is a headset built by Microsoft that you put on your face like regular glasses, but it allows you to see holographs. It's outfitted with an array of sensors that tracks head motion to interpret what you're looking at and where you're looking at. It does this by the powerful CPU and GPU that's crunching all the data from these sensors. It even got a dedicated HPU holographic processing unit to crunch data in real time that's captured by these sensors. So what makes this different from other virtual reality headsets like the Rift? With the Rift, you're fully immersed in what you're doing, you do your cut off from the real world, you only see the game that you're playing, and if you were to raise your hand, you won't see that, you'll only see the AI hand if you're controlling that. While with HoloLens, you're able to see through it, you still can see your environment, you're just seeing 3D images placed on top of it. 3D images that only you who is wearing the glass can see. You're not being teleported or transported like it feels with the Rift, you're just manipulating the way that you see your environment. You're not even really seeing holograms, which is kind of misleading. Microsoft said that you'll be able to see holograms, but isn't exactly true because what a Part of my inner geek, but what a hologram is, is a 3D image that's produced by a coherent light source or a laser beam that's undergoing interference and having the light spread like a flashlight. One beam of light shines on the object and is reflected and the other beam of light shines on the other side of the object and is reflected, registering two 2D images simultaneously and we perceive that to be as 3D. Well at least that's what my physics book told me. With HoloLens it uses a pair of really high definition screens that bounce and refract light between them, tricking your brain into thinking what it's seeing is projected into your space. So that's how we end up getting to see the 3D images that aren't really there but we perceive them to be as holograms. What makes this augment is because you're able to manipulate these objects. Remember, these objects aren't there, but you can move them around, resize them, control them, all with your fingertips. I don't know what hand gestures corresponds to what or how this is even happening, or is the glass scanning the entire room to appropriately place all these images, or is this just one big acid trip? Either way, it's pretty cool. As informative as the Microsoft event was, it still leaves way more questions than answers. We do know that the final product is going to be wireless, probably paired with your Windows device, probably one running Windows 10, but is this only bound to indoors? Most likely, yeah, because on the demo that we've seen, it was a fairly dark room and it was a control environment and it would probably be kind of be very weird if we see somebody walking down the street with this on. We all know how Google Glass turned out. And again, what's stopping this from just turning into a major flop? Because this is Microsoft we're talking about. The same company that brought us the Surface RT. And you remember Room Life? Of course you don't. But what about the Xbox One's Connect? They were all products that were overhyped and expected to make it big, but didn't. The point I'm trying to make is that Microsoft is good at bringing cool ideas to the table and failing to capitalize on them. Unless Microsoft can get developers on board with this, consumers will never see practical uses for this and this will never make it out of Microsoft Research Lab. Good news though, some of the apps on Windows already work for the HoloLens and Windows 10 will come equipped with the APIs for developers that are already program in the virtual reality world, they'll be able to program for the HoloLens. So at the moment, Project Holo seems to be on the right track, but we're counting on you not to screw it up, Microsoft. Just one job. Okay, let's say this isn't a flop and we see the uses for this and this make it off the shelf. How much will it cost? There have been no word on a pr actual price yet, but Microsoft did say that there will be prices for enterprises and consumers. But regardless who it's priced for, it's going to be a lot of shiny pennies. Okay, money ain't a thing, you're richer than a mofo, what's the ETA? Well, Microsoft didn't give us an exact time and date. All they said was that this was going to be within the Windows 10 lifetime. But that can mean anywhere from now to the death of Windows 10. So that's like five years. The average life expectancy of an operating system, I would say roughly about three years. So 2017, 2018, we should see this tech widely adopted. And even if Microsoft doesn't deliver, you can almost bet that another company will because you need big companies like Microsoft to be the catalyst that speeds up the rate of technology. And in this case, augmented reality. But if Microsoft wants to continue being the big conglomerate tech giant that they are, they gotta start shipping and delivering on these big ideas rather than just talking about it. So before the year ends, I'm pretty sure that we'll be seeing a final product even if it's just a dev kit. I got my faith in you Microsoft. This has been a very short video. I'm still gathering as much information as I can 
following the story very close. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything that's going on in the tech world. And if you are interested in Project Hollow, make sure to leave a comment down there. We can have a discussion going on. Anyways, that's been it. And as always, tech is life.